Greetings yeah. all. Greetings all. Shane Bruce, rest oh my daisy. Hey, yet another ancient and rare daisy is on the uh, table today. Sent in by a treasured customer now, uh, who has uh, purchased one, sent it to me. He'd like to get the stock wiggle fixed. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And uh, cleaned up a tad. So we're going to try to do that. Uh, I've been soaking. Let me show you this real quick. I've been soaking that screw for three days in coil. It will not budge. But I will not stop. Sooner or later, it will come out. This will come off, and we'll figure out how we fix that problem there. All right, let's back off and take a long look at it. What you're looking at is a Daisy 20th century. Anybody want to guess how old this gun is? Any guesses? Any guesses at all? Ah. I'll give you a clue. What? It's built between 1898 and 1902. <whistles> Do the math in your head. At a minimum, at a minimum, it's 118 years old. Minimum. Minimum. At a maximum, it might be 124 years old. Wow. Who knows? We don't. All right, let's uh, go down and take a look at the buttstock. Here we'll see the Daisy dog bone imprint. That's a bit of a change from later versions of other guns that had things stamped on them. But Daisy was real big about sticking that name on things. I don't know exactly if that's a dog bone or not, but it sure looks like one to me, which is kind of odd because Daisy never sold dog bones. You like it, a buckle? Maybe. Oh. It is a mystery. Uh, here's the neat part. The frame itself, these elements, are cast iron and they were nickel coated originally and you can see traces of nickel present on them but with time and the effects of time things have kind of worn away let's roll it up slightly now I'm not certain that this is I think this might have been brass plated then nickel plated because it's certainly got a brass look to it yeah. but there's no uh, reference in the literature about this piece being cast out of anything other than cast iron uh, I'm not saying it couldn't happen but no, I don't know, one way or the other. Now, as you can notice, it has this really funky peep sight on it, and it, it works pretty well. I mean, you can actually point this gun and aim it. And this gun does run. Uh, it's set up as a single shot uh, muzzle loader, and it fires lead balls instead of BBs, like these Gamo lead balls. But the problem with the Gamo lead ball is the diameter. It's 175. The bore diameter on the gun is 0 .180. So <laughs> you can take a B here. I'll give you a demonstration of what happens. Demonstration. And take the BB. BB. Back out now. Back it out. Load it into the barrel. It's in. There it goes. We heard it click. But now watch what happens when you take the gun off horizontal. Doesn't want to stay put. It just rolls right back out. So Don't it's a bit of a sloppy fit in the bore. Even with the sloppy fit, and uh, taking precautions to keep the bore horizontal. This little gun's still running 130 feet a second. 130 feet a second. So? Phenomenal. It's, 100, it's over 100 years old. Now, as we told you, it's a single shot, so we're gonna back out to a wide shot. Now, I'm gonna show you how you cock this thing. <laughs> this here, I don't know if I can correct that. I really don't wanna get into the guts of this gun. But to arm the little puppy, you just hold it and you press it down. And this piece right there locks into a detent in the uh, frame. Then you close the barrel up and you put your BB in and then you fire it and poof, off it goes. Kind of cool. Now, they built four variations of these cast, frame, cast iron frame guns. Two of them were single shot and two of them were repeaters. The gun we have in hand today is a single shot weapon. It doesn't have the ability to uh, load a magazine. Now, let's take a look at this. See that little brass tab right there? Yes. You push down on that. Mm -hmm. If you can get your thumbnail to engage it. Do you need me to use my nail? No, I don't, want to, I don't want you to mess your nails up. I mean, I'm going to be taking it off this weekend. So. Okay, well, go for it. Now you got to push down. Push down? Yeah, that's why I was trying to do it sideways. Oh, All right, no. well, my here. nails are too long. So you push down. Oh, okay, that's what you're trying to say. And you fiddle with it. And you push down some more. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's an, it's an operation. Ah, got it. Okay. Once you get the detent out, <laughs> out it comes. Now check this out. Okay, let's see. Brass shot tube. Wow. Muzzle loader, single shot. Mm -hmm. No provision for any loading port. Mm -hmm. So the reason they made these detachable was because back in the day of lead BBs, lead BBs were a little irregular. And it wasn't uncommon to have a BB get jammed in your gun. And if you want to fix that, you got to pull the shot tube. Mm. Or the air, yeah. The, yeah, the shot dude. So to reinstall, just slip it back in. And till it clicks. 
and we're seated and ready to go. Let's take a look at the off side of the gun because that's where the name of the gun's at. Oh, cool. 20th century. And you can see here on that the brass color is really predominant. A funky little trigger, a little brake action. We'll do, we'll do the brake action one more time, like so. It doesn't click or anything, but this little, this little piece here lodges against a step on the inside of the frame, and then you, these uh, two wires are attached to the plunger assembly. Now the spring's under compression, and you can fire the gun. Look at that, the obligatory paint. I have yet to have a daisy come into this shop that didn't have a paint trace on it someplace. Proof positive, proof positive that daisies attract paint flecks. It's nearly a universal characteristic. Do you have a roll stamp or no? No, no roll stamps. Just the uh, cast in name Daisy and the word 20th century. Nothing I could detect under the mm. patina or through the patina. But overall, just a super interesting gun. Super durable. I mean, it's over 100 years old. Freaking amazing. Well, kids, that's all we've got for you today. This is Shane Bruce with Rest on My Daisy signing off.